Welcome back to my Friday breakdown on the Unstockable channel. Um, feel free to join my Discord group if you like the information and the calls I've been given. Uh, feel free to join my Discord group and like and subscribe. So today was a very weird day. Uh, I was expecting a bounce, but it uh, happened in the morning very quickly, and then it fade away uh, super fast, and then down about 2.3% on the SPX. So today I noticed one thing. Uh, we touched the 26, 23 um, one time and then we bounced right up. That's the same thing with yesterday. When we first touched 26, 23 um, and then we bounced rest today, December 6. Touch here, we bounced. Today we touch here and bounced. But yesterday the bounce was higher. Um, there was a news yesterday saying that Fed is not uh, unlikely to raise uh, rates in December. And they might raise rates in, in January. So this was the bounce yesterday, but today we touched that and it will bounce off to close at 2633. Uh I'm gonna to have to change my outlook on the SPX. I'll be targeting 2620 next week and eventually 2600. So why is that? Because the efficiency of the market does not exist in December so far. Uh, we are way outside of our expected move. Uh, I think XBX went down by almost 200 points this week alone, and that was not the expected move uh, we will be looking at. So no further ado, let's take a look at SPY. Uh, let's draw a new Fibonacci on SPY, and we are uh, just inside the point point two three six area so if you want to short uh, now is not the time because we are at the low so the next support on the SPY uh, we'll be looking at 260 right here uh, are we going to touch the um, are we going to touch the February low at 257 uh, very very likely from what I'm seeing right now because selling is just unstoppable right now so we'll be hitting 257 um, it's my next target on the SPY just be careful the risk award ratio is pretty um, visible right here so we have this much of the upside to come and then only this much of downside to come 257 so just think about that. Uh, would you get a put? If we do a daily trade on Monday, I will be very careful because it's oversold and uh, there must be a 50% retracement to the upside. So I'll be targeting the SPX at 260A. That's my level of the SP, SPY for 268. Um, hopefully we'll hit that by Tuesday. If Monday we go red um, and below the 2620, I will not get any calls. We tell 2600 or below. If Monday we held above 2620 and continue holding to 2635 to 2645 on Tuesday, I'm gonna call it a turnaround Tuesday. So at the end of Monday, I'm gonna load out calls. Uh, if you're holding a spy calls, just continue holding because I think you guys have time until Friday. There is going to be a definitely a bounce to the upside very soon if we hold above 2620. Uh, let's take a look at Apple. Apple broke major support at 170. Uh, pretty bad looking for Apple. I'm going to have to redraw this uh, Fibonacci. And let's take a look at our Apple right here. So yes, Apple is in the 0.236. It broke the major support at 170. So if by Monday we don't come back within the 170 level, I'm gonna have a very, very bearish outlook on Apple towards the 155. That's, I mean, sorry, not 155, 165. That's the next zone I'll be targeting. Uh, right here, out of drawer right here. So, in the meantime, let's just hope we can see a sort of a, a bounce to the inside 
and stay above 175 that's the next gap I'll be looking at so I'm gonna put this right here a 175 for the next resistance for Apple I do believe Apple is going to have a comeback up um, it does have strong fundamental and Buffett still holding his position so uh, but in the long run if we are still continuing this uh, bearish market we are going to have a potential to see 156 161st and 156. Let's take a look at Amazon. Amazon will hit our target price of 1720 and then boom, rejected right away, which is very crazy. I'm going to delete uh, some of the line to make it clear. On Amazon today, we hit right here the level of drew 1720 and then rejected right away. What's next for Amazon? Based on the technical analysis, Amazon is going to continue to go down uh, towards the lower level of the 0.382 area. Why is that? Look right here. What's the price action within this area? We are pretty close to the next leg downside. So the next support I'll be looking at is 1620. And then after that, well, I'll be targeting uh, 1600 and then right here so again if we don't see a turn, if we don't see a green day on Monday uh, they're most likely going to see a green day on Tuesday but if we see a green day on Monday and then it fades away then on Tuesday it's going to be a red day uh, am I going to ask you to buy Amazon puts uh, Depends on Monday, I'll tell you guys on Monday. Right now, I'm only holding uh, Apple 185 call position. Expire in two weeks. Thank you for watching. Be careful for trading. We are in a very, very bearish territory. Uh, once again, targeting 2620 on SPX and 2600 on the final destination. When we um, hold below 2600, it's going to be a panic sell off to 2500. So just be careful and have a nice weekend.